Good morning. This is Roger DeMuth, and I'd like to share with you some images that I've done on the West Coast. Um, each winter we go to San Diego for a month, and I have a small studio in the apartment that we rent, and uh, these are some of the paintings that I've done over the years. I take a stack with me to work on on location when we go, and most of these are 12 by 24 inches down to about six by eight inches. I try to go out every morning when we're in San Diego for a little bit and um, uh, work from life and um, all of these paintings are done the same way. These are water soluble oil paints on canvas panels that have been prepared with a matte medium underneath them to um, keep the pencil drawing from rising into the paint center. And um, each of these paintings is um, done on location, and uh, here I am at Gazebo Rock, uh, which used to have a gazebo and a bridge read, uh, leading to it, but uh, that's long gone. And this is Sunset Cliffs um, Avenue, and um, quite a remarkable place. Nearby are um, some of the last of the dirt uh, pathways behind some of the houses, which is pretty neat, and one of the wildest places. Uh, this is Cabrillo National Monument uh, there a few years ago and uh, quite a beautiful place and uh, sandstone cliffs and uh, uh, overlooking the water. The next few paintings are from the Presidio which is a mission from the 1700s. There's a park there now and uh, the houses in the area are spectacular including this one overlooking the city of San Diego and the distant mountains. The mission was built in the early 1700s by the Spanish who settled in this area. Balboa Park is an extraordinary place with uh, historic buildings built for the Panama California Exposition in 1915. Coming up is a painting I did of the Coston Ostrich Farm which was a uh, display during the exposition and shaped like a Egyptian pyramid for some reason, I don't know why. Um, this is one of the theaters in the park also. I like to walk down to Newport Street and uh, go to the pier. The most interesting people live down there or frequent it. And um, one lady I found recently had chickens in her front on the dashboard of her car, of all places, little baby chicks. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Uh, some of the alleys in uh, Ocean Beach, quite extraordinary and um, lovely at sunset. Uh, it's one of the churches on the corner of um, Saratoga and Sunset. Uh, this is a sketch I did of a man sitting waiting for his uh, laundry to dry, the laundromat. Um, we took a trip up to San Juan Capistrano, which is uh, pretty neat place and I did uh, several paintings from photos that I took of the trip um, and this uh, interesting garden arrangement they have there in pots, uh, quite lovely. The places I like the best is Kellogg's Beach, La Playa area of San Diego. This lovely path is on the uh, water and you can walk along it. And I did uh, several paintings from San Antonio Street to um, uh, Kellogg's Beach and then this uh, path uh, near the Yacht Club. Great garden near this modern house. Um, on McCall Street uh, near Kellogg Beach and I did two paintings of this uh, particular house and the neighboring house. This one's in progress as you can tell but the gardens are extraordinary. This is on the lovely path that's right at Kellogg's Beach, and then this one at San Antonio Street. And I've gotten to meet the people that have uh, owned these houses, and pretty neat. Little Lion Cafe area right on Sunset Avenue, and um, uh, some of the uh, palm trees that are there. And I've painted many pictures of these. Some of them are left with um, all the hanging uh, branches. It makes it even nicer, um, the, the uh, 
the green parrots live inside them. Uh, this house is on um, Bermuda, and uh, I, it, it was uh, a Japanese-style house built in 1915 with lovely gardens. And this one is on Pescadero Street, another on Cable Street, this uh, lovely palm tree. And this is part of the Silver Spray Apartments, which is kind of neat. Behind Target um, on Newport Street, and this one is also on Cable, across from our, our favorite Thai restaurant. This is a lawyer's uh, property right in the corner. And uh, with these, uh, someone called them Hollywood Cypress, uh, I'm not sure they are, but um, they just are all twisted from the wind and uh, uh, living right near Dog Beach. Dr. Flood's house on uh, Gizo Street, and uh, I've gotten to know them a little bit. And uh, uh, Gretel, our, my uh, son's uh, roommate's uh, dog, and this is his house on uh, Saratoga with his uh, BMW in front of it, Spanish style house. Pretty neat place. Um, and Aaron's dog, Mo, who is quite delightful. And uh, people uh, going through the ponds, uh, the tidal pools down by uh, Newport Street. Uh, so if you have any questions, just uh, email me my, uh, or uh, look at my site on Instagram. There's plenty to see there. And uh, at the end are three. Uh, QR codes, you can just uh, uh, aim your camera at it and uh, click on each of the links. So I'm glad you had a chance to look at my paintings. See you soon.